Welcome to video number 33. So now we're all done with our menu. So now let's go ahead and start pulling information from our database into our content area so we can actually start populating our website. So let's go to our content.php page and let's scroll down a little bit. See where we get table one right here, which corresponds to our first information underscore ID field. Well, we want to use this information to go ahead and create another function. Let's go ahead and open up our functions.php file and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so let's create another function and I'm going to call this, I don't know, get info by ID. Okay, let's go ahead and give it an argument with our open braces. Let me pull this down a little bit. Okay, so for our condition that we want to go in here, we want to use our information underscore ID field that we created. And in here, let's go ahead and create some more queries. But I'm going to do this line by line because we're kind of doing different things or new things that I'm going to go ahead and introduce. So let's go ahead and call this variable query. And remember that we can call it variable. We, <coughs> excuse me. When using MySQL, we can use the same variable, but we can set it to a different value. See up here, we have query up here it's with a different value than a query up here because MySQL only gets only uses this query once. So we can go ahead and call a bunch of variables um, query. Okay, let's go on. So I'm going to go ahead and I need to select all. Remember this asterisk lets us know that we're selecting everything. Give it a space. And let's go ahead and create another variable. Go ahead and call this query as well. But this time, instead of equals, we're going to use the append equals. So a decimal or a period and uh, an extra equal sign, no space in between. And we're going to go from our table called information. Give it a space. We'll close that out. I'll make a little comment over here to the side. Append equals so our value can change. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create another variable called query with an append equals sign. In this MySQL command, I want to source where we're going to pull it from equals we're going to concatenate nope concatenate our category field information underscore ID you can go ahead and just copy and paste it from right here as well and let's close this out and what's the last thing that I want to do I want to create another query what do I want to do with this for security measures I'm going to go ahead and give it another MySQL command and this is called limit one. And this is a MySQL command that limits the results to only one. So say we we search through 1,000 things. Well, I only want it to give me back one. So again, better safe than sorry. And I'll give a little uh, comment over here off to the right-hand side. For limit, command limit to limit results by one. So again, if we have a giant list or a giant database and we, we finally found what we're looking for, only return that. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys are following along. Good luck with this and I'll go ahead and see you in the next video.